Hey guys, welcome back to Mechanics Life. This is Art, and today we're working on a 2006 Lexus RX 400H, which is a hybrid. What we're doing today is replacing the front brake pads. Um, and for you to do that, there's a couple of things you gotta do beforehand. With these cars, uh, when you are set and you're parked correctly, before you even raise it, you wanna turn off the car and you wanna remove the key as far as possible from the vehicle because the regenerative system on the braking that hybrids have, they're still working even though the car is powered off. So what I did, I removed the key as far as possible Plus, I removed the negative uh, battery, uh, negative terminal from the battery just in case so it doesn't power up while I'm doing brake service. Plus, I opened the cap for the uh, reservoir so the pressure uh, doesn't build up. And I'll just leave it on top like that because you, you don't want anything dropping in there. Right after that, what we're going to do is find the jack points, jack up the car, Put it on jack stands and chalk the wheel in the back and once we do that we can take off the wheels so at this point we want to put a block on the jack and lift it up now before i even do that um, if you don't have an impact wrench then you probably want to loosen the lug nuts before raising the vehicle release the vehicle we're gonna leave the jack on here for now we're gonna check if the car is sturdy enough and it looks like it is next thing what we're gonna do is remove the lug nuts that's one that's two that's three that's four That's five. We can remove the wheel and we're just gonna put it here. So I'm gonna sit on it. Now, by checking the rotor, it looks fine, but it's a little bit wavy, which is still okay. It's not too bad. I would definitely turn it, but the customer didn't want that. So what we're gonna do is just replace the front brake pads. So the next thing we wanna do is remove the caliper bolts. That's one. So we take off the top bolt. Now, we remove the caliper right here with the piston and everything. So I'm inspecting the piston. It doesn't look like it's leaking or anything else, but obviously you can say that the brake pads are gone in this car completely. If I can pull them out. Pretty much stuck. Yeah, you can see how bad that is. That's what I'll do next is clean it up a little bit. Just gonna use a little brake clean. It's a little more shiny now. Once that's cleared, what I like to do is put a little bit of NICs 
on the connections there. And then, now we're just installing the backing plate on the brake pads. Just like so. Same thing for the other one. Come on, there you go. And what I do after is I use a little disc brake quiet. Now we just put it on top of the backing plate. Just like that. So let that dry while we go back and see what what's going on here so now what we're gonna do we're gonna take one of the old pads which is at least something gonna put it back here and we are gonna use a retractor tool you can use a c-clamp you can use anything basically and just compress the piston once again if you're a member that I opened the cap uh, for the uh, brake fluid so that it doesn't um, um, build up pressure and then we're just gonna slowly compress the <coughs> piston inside Move it. now the piston is compressed all the way now we can use the new pads like so and then the other one so. and what else I like to do is I would pull the guide pins out and I would just lubricate them so they work a little more better and then put them back just like that and we'll do the same thing with the front one sorry top one take a little grease Put it on top, and we'll do the same thing here. Like that. And you can see how more of a like, suspension it has, kind of thing. After that, we can put the caliper back on. Put it on like so make sure you match those uh, guide pins and then we'll put the first bolt the first bolt in put the second bolt in So you just tighten everything down. So and I will leave the uh, torque specs in the uh, video after that. Usually I do everything by hand because I've done these like a hundred times uh, and I kind of know what it is, but I will leave the torque specs in the video so you can check. Once again, overview, what we did was we removed two bolts, one here, one here. We removed the caliper 
we'll put it outside here or we can use a hook or a coat hanger that's usually used a lot of videos I've seen they put a coat hanger to hang the um, the caliper remove that you can replace these some of the brake pads that come uh, new they come with the new brake hardware the one that the customer gave me obviously didn't so that's why I didn't change it that's why I cleaned it up a little bit and I put some NICs on the on the clips there inside then we use the um, disc brakes quiet, quiet to uh, spray on the top of the backing uh, that actually helps uh, with uh, noise reduction of the brakes um, the other side obviously I'm not going to show you because it's the same thing uh, just the other side of the um, wheel so it's exactly the same way you take the two bolts off and caliper and stuff like that thing we want to do is put the wheel back on and then obviously we're going to put the lugs back on now you want to torque your wheels to 100 foot pounds Um, that would be it for this video at the end of the video I will show you uh, the tools that I have used to do this project if you enjoyed this video shoot me a thumbs up comment like the video and subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet thanks for watching see you on the next one now the tools that I have used for this video was a 3 8 ratchet a 14 millimeter socket 10 millimeter box wrench for the battery this is for the caliper bolts a tractor tool 19 millimeter for the lug nuts a torque wrench and a screwdriver flat blade flat blade and a impact wrench obviously if I didn't have that I would use my breaker bar which would do the same thing again I use this just to make this a much quicker video I have used some grease, some brake clean, NICs, and disc brake quiet.